In this lecture, we are going to see few programs based on while and do while loop. So, first program is to print numbers 1 to n, wherein n will be entered by user. So, suppose user enters 10, our program should print numbers 1 to 10. So, for any decision control structure, what we need to have is iterations. Okay, and how many times it attrition should be performed for that we will require one index variable we can call it anything in our examples I'll be using I so I should always be initialized to some value and then there has to be a condition okay so your attritions will be performed till the time your condition holds true so in this case I'm using I as index variable which is initialized to 1 and then I'm asking user to enter n after that my while loop has the condition i less than or equal to n that is suppose user has entered 10 so my condition is while 1 is less than or equal to 10 so condition is true so the compiler will go inside and print current value of i which is 1 now once this is done i am going to increment value of i if i do not increment value of i the condition will always be true so 1 will always be less than 10. So there is no way that this program will end. So for our index variable, we will require one more thing that is to increment it or decrement it. So that is why because our because we are counting loops from 1 to 10, we are incrementing it here as we have initialized i to 1. So for the first iterations, i will be 1. Condition is true. It will print value of i. Here i will become 2. So my next check will be 2 less than or equal to 10, which is true again it will go inside and print that value and after that my i will become 3 similarly it will go on like this suppose now i holds the value 10 so 10 is less than or equal to 10 which is also true so loop will again print 10 and finally my i will become 11 now once it goes above again to check the condition which will become 11 less than or equal to 10 which is false so the compiler will come out of the loop and terminate